Welcome to Mind Body Motion YouTube channel. My name is Luis Ponce, and in today's video, we're going to look into the most important action of our daily lives. What do you think it is? Walking. Walking is the most important action of our daily lives, and we don't really pay attention to walking until we suffer an injury. Okay, so we want to transfer ourselves from one place to another one. We need walking. Okay. So on today's video, we're going to go through the mechanics of, of the walking uh, uh, movements, and we're going to go on, uh, on the floor, but remember, your brain will be embracing the motions that you're doing on the floor, and they can transfer out the standing position much easier. So we're going to be having a little delay on putting uh, the next video, so just be, we're going to communicate with you. Let's keep working on the last three uh, videos we put up, the routines that we already have in there. If you need more um, intensity, just increase the time or repeat the same, the same sequence. And uh, again, we're looking to enrich the message that we're putting out there for you. And uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of research. So looking forward to seeing you soon. And for now, we just go to the gym and work on the walking mechanics. We'll see you soon. Vertical dimensional walking. Start by sliding, gently sliding your right foot down as the left foot goes up. Alternating this motion, you can feel how your hips go up and down. The whole pelvic area goes up and down as you do this. Repeat 20 times in each side in a very slow motion. Pay attention to your breathing, nice and gentle as you move there. The second movement, we're going to bend our legs and drop the knee into the space between the two feet. Notice how I roll my body as I drop the knee. This allows the the full uh, motion to be more smooth by creating a rolling motion out of the of the torso as I drop the leg to the side but the shoulders notice that the shoulders stay in place as I do this purposely intentionally inhale as you drop your knee to the center And each time that you do that, look for doing it a little further down. Another point here, you want to make sure you, the knee that it stays still it stays upward. Keeping the legs in the same position, now we're going to lift the pelvis first and then continue by pushing your knee upward. This allow again another uh, rolling action and this time it's a little bit noticeable where my neck, my head also rolls as I'm going up. It follows the opposite direction of where, where the, the lift of the of the pelvis goes up, when it goes up. Inhale, creating an arch, and again, and this is just how we walk. That's the, that's the uh, vertical motion there. We're getting prepared now to do the combination of the vertical and horizontal uh, dimensions of axis of the pelvis and that's how we we execute the walking as we're standing up. As you can see on this motion we're going to lift the hip and simultaneously we're going to bring the opposite leg up as we do this motion here. The sensory motor mechanism gets activated when we do all these motions, but to create a new memory in gram and delete the files that we have in our memory, 
these exercises will allow you to get into a better habitual motion as you walk. Nice and easy on the arching. As you do that, making sure you put pressure on the heel there is, there is, uh, is bent. That is a very good activation of the of the gluteus muscle and as you can see on this part the groin gives a really good stretch by keeping you your knee straight up towards the ceiling. And you see also how my my leg rolls I'd work as I'm rolling to the side and then I'm coming back down my foot moves upward too. I mean my toes point up to the ceiling more. Very important for us to uh, to do these motions slow and these motions gives you the best results when you do 20 repetitions per, per side. So we do only five repetitions here so uh, now test and see how much of your back is touching there and you should feel that your back is far more relaxed there. We'll continue right now and bring in, putting everything together on the standing position for you to see uh, how you can put it all together. So you can see when you're walking how my torso rotates and mimics the motions that we just practiced. Okay, it's a, it's a contralateral motion and it's, it's a swinging, uh, nice swinging of the arms as we do that. I'm exaggerating that for you guys to see that. Okay. So the motion of your hips. So in this motion you can see we are measuring and see how the motion forward and backwards is, is executed there. Practice these exercises every day and it will give you a really good form of, of walking. Please let us know how you're feeling. How you doing with these exercises? Give us some feedback, subscribe to my channel, and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you so much and keep on moving.